Nicole from Nicole's Kitchen. Today I will be baking a saffron halva pound cake. I'm so excited to be working with Fahrenheit Flavor Series one more time, so follow along and bake with me. So we're gonna begin with a stand mixer. Um, we have two sticks of room temperature butter, which I'll go ahead and add into the stand mixer. Sugar. We will be providing you with the recipe as well. And honey. So now we're gonna go ahead and cream the butter, honey, and sugar for about three minutes until it's light and fluffy. So once you've creamed for about three minutes, you should take a silicone spatula and just clean the edges to make sure that the honey, sugar, and butter is evenly mixed together. And then I'll go ahead and mix one more time for about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead now and add in my eggs one by one into the sugar, honey, and uh, butter mixture. So I'm gonna turn on my mixer and add one egg. Whisk for about 10 seconds. Add two seconds egg. And then I'll go ahead and add the third egg. And let it mix for another 10 seconds. So now that we have the butter, honey, sugar mixed together, and now that we've added the eggs, we're gonna work on the flour. So um, just a general rule of thumb, when you are working with baking and you're working with flour, flour has clumps. So we wanna kind of get rid of the clumps. Um, so what I like to do is I have my measured amount of flour today. I have a um, strainer and I'm going to go ahead and add the flour into the strainer and kind of shift through it to take out all the clumps of the flour. This will make the cake a lot fluffier. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla bean um, paste into my egg and butter mixture and also my freshly ground cardamom and now I'll go ahead and add in my sifted flour but you're going to do this in three parts so we'll do flour a little bit of the whole milk and then flour whole milk flour whole milk um, this will help keep the batter super smooth Here's part one. I'll turn on the mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the third part of the flour. Turn on the mixer again. Get every bit of flour in there. So let's turn the mixer on. And then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of the milk. Now that we have the base of our cake, um, we are going to add the actual flavor um, into our pound cake. So I'm going to show you how to um, add the saffron, we're going to add the pistachios, and then lastly, I will be um, introducing the sesame butter by Simply Sesame, which tastes exactly like halva. Okay, so um, saffron comes from a safflower. Um, and each safflower has strands. The strands inside of the safflower is saffron. So saffron is handpicked, that's why it's so expensive and known as Iranian gold. So um, on the cooking channel, I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of times I see um, other cooks uh, taking saffron strands and just dumping it in the food or baking with it. But what you should do is you should get a designated coffee grinder um, just for your saffron. So you would go ahead and take these saffron threads, and we're just gonna zoom in so you guys can see. These threads into a coffee grinder until it reaches the texture of powder. So it becomes a saffron powder, okay? So here is the powder. Um, if anybody tries to sell you saffron as a powder, it's probably fake or low quality. Um, 
So once you have the saffron powder, you're gonna go ahead and take some hot water and you will dilute these ground up saffron in the hot water, okay? So I will be showing you that now. So if you come close by, your saffron water should look bright and orange. Okay, so you're gonna wait for the saffron water to cool off a little bit because you don't wanna add hot water to cake batter. Um, so I have put my saffron water in this cute little saffron steamer that I got from Iran. Um, so we'll go ahead and add some into our cake batter. So if you wanna come show them. And we'll turn the mixer on real quick. And then I'll go ahead and add the chopped pistachios. So you can go ahead, you know, I like it to be a bright yellow orange color. this up real quick so you guys can see so now that our batter has beautifully come together um, I've gone ahead and already oiled my cake tins I like to use these mini ones these four ounce tins it's really cute you could use any kind of cake pan that you like but make sure that you oil it and I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in evenly So I've gone ahead now and added my saffron pound cake batter into my cake tins. Um, we are going to be swirling in the pistachio cardamom um, sesame butter today. And I got this inspiration from my childhood. My mom would always bake saffron rose water cakes. And we always had halva shikari laying around in the house. So those were two very prominent flavors that I grew up with. So I decided to use that inspiration and marry those flavors together to prepare this cake today. Um, so before I go ahead and use the pistachio cardamom sesame butter, I am going to introduce you the founder um, of this awesome sesame butter. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be part of Fahan Flavor and to be baking alongside with Nicole today. My name is Mariam and I'm the founder of Simply Sesame, an all-natural line of sesame butters um, that comes in three different flavors, pistachio cardamom, almond vanilla, and original. Today I want to show you how to stir the all-natural pop dogs properly uh, before, the, before using it. So grab a knife. Open the product first. <laughs> Duh. And grab a knife. And what you need to do is to stir it from bottom to the top. So this would be true with any kind of um, like almond butter, peanut exactly. butter. Great. And this is... And it's because all natural products, the natural oil gets separated and this way you will Mix it well to reach the smooth texture. Marian June has taught us how to properly stir the sesame butter. You see that it's all come together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dollop a few little um, like half teaspoons of the sesame butter on top of the saffron cake and then we will go ahead and stir uh, with a little stick. So we'll swirl. So I'll go ahead and just do a few little dollops. Mariam, you're also going to <laughs> kindly give me a hand after this. So we'll do like three clumps like this on each of them. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is so flavorful. You're gonna wanna kind of have big clumps going on in the middle of this cake. Okay, so as she's finishing up that cake, um, you're gonna go ahead and take a wood uh, skewer, like a kebab skewer. I'm sure you're familiar with that, um, but this is a wood one. So I'm gonna show you how to swirl um, into the saffron cake. So you're gonna just take the stick and kind of go a little bit deep like this, okay, into like a circular motion. Get little swirls going on. Perfect. See that? Beautiful. Thank you. 
So now that we've gotten the sesame butter swirled into the saffron cake, we're gonna get this um, into the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes undisturbed. Um, and then I will show you how to finish off the saffron halva cake. In we go. So we've pulled out our saffron halva cake loaves out of the oven. Um, you should let them cool off for about an hour. And now we're gonna be showing you how to make the simple icing and we're gonna finish off with pistachios and rosebuds. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the simple icing. So I have powdered sugar here and Mariam, if you could go ahead and pour the cream into the powdered sugar. Thank you. Beautiful. So you're just gonna go ahead and mix the heavy whipping cream with the powdered sugar. And you kind of just want to take the clumps out. So now I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the simple icing over our saffron halva cake. And then Marianne June is going to go ahead and sprinkle uh, the cake with crushed pistachios and rose flower buds. So all you have to do is just nicely drizzle like so. Do the same thing with these. And the cake will soak up this icing. Look at the teamwork. That's the fun part. Mm -hmm. So we finished off with some rosebuds, the pistachios and the red of the flower give it a nice beautiful bright accent. Thank you guys so much for watching us make the saffron halva pound cake. We can't wait to see you guys recreate this beautiful recipe. Um, enjoy! Yeah.